Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a couple of Pokemon that I just find to be extremely solid for you in the Great League here. And starting it off is Shadow Venusaur. As you can tell I've been using this quite a bit because well I just like Venusaur, Frenzy Plant's really good. And on top of the Shadow Damage and the Spam Ability with Vine Whip, it's an amazing pick for sure. Now we do have Lapras on the team here, I didn't really include this as one of the Pokemon because getting that Legacy and shadow is you know it's not you know the hardest thing in the world but then you got a team frustration so we're going to exclude that venusaur is more accessible seeing that you didn't have to have an elite tm we had an event where you can evolve it as well as the extra community day so we'll leave it at that as well as umbreon and metacham metacham you don't need xl this one is going to be xl obviously it's going to be doing better but you don't need it i'm not <laughs> look i've just reached my wicks end here I think I've just come to the point where it's like, you know, stop trying to be so spicy and put on something to at least give your team a bit of bulk here. And then we're also going to be going with Umbreon, which is going to have the Community Day move last resort. It also does have Psychic as well. That is going to be another Community Day move that it can get. So kind of an interesting one for the Umbreon here. And when it comes to the Psychic on the Umbreon, I personally just prefer the last resort because it does give me an option going up against another Dark type. And then we do have Wall Rain. I am going to be using the Shadow. Um, you don't need that one. The regular one is just as good for sure. The Shadow is hitting harder. I'm personally just going to be using this here. And of course, it does have the Community Day moves, Icicle Spear and Powdered Snow on the Wall Rain. So you don't need to use these on the same team. These are just some Pokemon I'm recommending. And of course, there's going to be a ton of other Pokemon that you could use for the Great League that are going to be doing very well. I just personally like these. The Umbreon Tanky has options. Personally, I think you should go with the Last Resort. Psychic can work for you though too. Metajam, always solid. I know it's XL, it's OP. But with the way we've been seeing go Battle League lately, you're going to need better Pokemon on your arsenal for sure. And it, when it comes down to Venusaur, I just love this thing. When shields are down, the only thing that's really going to stand in its way right off the top of my head is going to be Skarmory. And even then, if you're able to land three or two Frenzy Plants even, you're bringing it down to half. You're bringing it down 75% of its health. And it's a flying and a steel type. So that's just a testimony as how good this thing hits. And it's just so spammy. You gotta love it. All right, so what's going on here? We're going to get into the commentary. Now, with the Lapras, I would recommend it. It's just a little bit more difficult to get because there is no community day. Take it back a long time ago when we did have the raid days. That's when you were going to be able to get these. Or if you did play in the very beginning when this game was released, the quick move on it is going to be a legacy. So you're going to, that's the only ways you're going to be able to get it. That's why I'm not really throwing it out there. But if you have an elite quick TM, I suppose, is it worth it on the shadow? For sure. If you have the shadow of Lapras ready to go. All right, let's get into the commentary here. Met with a Scrafty. What's going on here, folks? Oh, by the way, if you do enjoy my videos, give it a thumbs up. Can't wait for Ultra League. Ooh, it is my favorite league, but uh, the last time it was around, it made me kind of not like it so much. It was making me go crazy. Anything in the Go Battle League right now is. We're going to stay off that topic and keep it positive here. So wherever it gets a Scrafty, what's going on? We got a shield, and they're going to be catching with an Altaria. Okay, we got the Wall Rain in the back. Now, I decided to swap out the Wall Rain. I just, a little bit spammier, okay? A little bit spammier and not as tanky as the Lapras, though. So we're going to go ahead and just take them out immediately. I'm not even going to waste any time. And they're bringing in that Scrafty as expected. Probably going to start going for the Power Punches, absolutely. As well as building up energy and getting ready for whatever we're going to throw in there next. They're shielding it up. Using their last shield sounds good to me. We still have one left bringing in that Venusaur. Whether or not this is a Power Up Punch or a Foul Play, I'm going to shield it up. And it is a bait. Can they get to the charge move? And they do not. And they don't catch. I don't think they could. We're going to go ahead and take out that Scrafty with the Venusaur. What you got in the back? A Swampert. I'm surprised they stayed here. Well, it looked like they were going to be able to potentially beat me, looks like. So I catch with the Umbreon. And uh, you already know what it is. <laughs> Umbreon's so good. Now, I don't use this very often. As you do know, I try to pick different things, but I thought, eh, for the last day of Go Battle League, for the time being, might as well just go ahead and show you guys this uh, Umbreon here. All right, next battle, we're met with a Galarian Stunfisk. So this is okay, so long as we don't get hit by Earthquake. 
That was way too soon, so we're going to let that go because it's an obvious rock slide here. And they're going to be swapping into their Star Raptor. Look like they're trying to catch a Frenzy Plant, but we're going to be retreating with our energy and bringing in the Wall Rain to take them out immediately. I'm sorry, Star Raptor. The Great League is just not where you belong, buddy. And we're going to see some beautiful lag here. So I thought they might think we were at Earthquake now because of that putter, and they're going to be shielding it up. Good. <laughs> Taking advantage of it. And... Letting that, I thought we would maybe be able to survive that, but it actually KOs. So we're bringing in the Venusaur with hardly any health, going for Frenzy Plant. They got one shield left and a Tropius in the back. I thought I was going to be able to get to the Sludge Bomb, but unfortunately not. Now it's going to be the Battle of the Tanks. So there's a Flying Umbreon, it's the Mandibuzz. And uh, there's also the Tropius, which is a tank as well. So let's see what's going on here. I mean, we are up a shield, so it is kind of leaning towards more of the Umbreon winning. But take a look at this trophy. It's really putting up a fight here until the very end. All right, now let's talk about something here as we do watch this battle. I want you to go look at your Go Battle League score. Take your total wins and then divide it by two. And then tell me what you get. Compare it to your wins. If it's around 50%, well, guess what? We're in the same boat. It's just so crazy. I know, okay, I was going to say I wasn't going to go down this road, but I, I just can't help myself, can I? But just have a little fun with that. Go see. It's just always 50%. Okay, so we have a Skarmory lead. Absolutely horrible, right? So we swap into our Umbreon. That's not the counter. It's going to be the Wall Rain, but I was expecting them to swap. So perfect. They're bringing out the Swampert here. They're letting that go. We're going to go for the next one. I'm expecting them to shield this up. They don't want to win, or they do want to win this swap, right? Now we can let this go. It's going to be hitting hard because it is going to be Shadow. And we are going to have to shield up the next one here. The question is, do they want to double shield to win this swap? We'll see. And we're going to go for another one here. I don't remember if I want to double shield this. Okay, so they do. All right, great. We are absolutely going to be bringing in our Venusaur here. And I figured they were going to obviously bring in their Skarmory. But take a look at the damage that we're going to be able to do here. So this is one Frenzy Plant plus a little bit of damage. And another one here, and this is Shadow, right? If you're regular Venusaur, you're going to be doing damage, obviously, but not as much as this. And look at what we're bringing them down, giving them only 25% left of their health. That's pretty stinking good. Bringing in the Umbreon to just absorb their charge move here. And now we got the Wall Rain. So what's going to happen is, since they've double shield as well, we're going to shield it up, obviously. Going for a Brave Bird, now we're going to be able to farm down. Now here's where I made my mistake, check this out. I am spamming Icicle Spear, just like <laughs> getting ready. They bring in Galarian Stunfisk. If I went for Earthquake and then I built up to the next one up against that Swamper, I think we could have maybe took the win here. So I rage quit, top left, good game to my opponent. So I just wanted to leave that in there so you can see what happens going up against that Skarmory. It really can hold its own still. All right, up against a Frostlass. Okay, that was a, not a good lead, right? So we're swapping into our Wall Raider. They're gonna be bringing in Obstagoon. So at this point, we have been yeah, rock, paper, scissors to some degree, but that's okay. It's not like it's all bad and over. You need to back out all of a sudden, but they did get the boost right there. So now it's not looking too great. So they've used one shield. They're down a good amount of health. We're not going to be bringing in Umbreon because they're just going to farm us down with their, with their boosted attack here. So bringing in the Venusaur and going to shield this up absolutely here. So... I think, yeah, we're going to farm down. I thought I was going to be able to farm down. So that was a greedy mistake. Let's see if we can recover this. They're going to be bringing in Frostlass here. Frenzy Plant's going to be able to pretty much one-shot that thing if they let it go. Just, this is the power of it. And they let it go and we one-shot the Frostlass. Was, oh, they got a, a Swampert in the back. What, what's going on? Maybe they thought they would be able to survive that. I mean, that's just a disgusting amount of damage. So that's the second time we're going to be seeing my Venusaur swap out of a Swamper matchup for good reason. I mean, we're just trying to make sure we keep this uh, equalized here because if they would have done that, you know, damage, they could have been able to spam me with the Umbreon. Still probably would have won, nonetheless, taking that win. Looking good. Next battle met with a Metacham. So we do need to look out for Ice Punch as well as Psychic. Well, one shot Ice Punch will bring us pretty low and to the point where they can probably just farm us down with counter and then have a bunch of energy for our next Pokemon. So we're getting a shield out of them right away because that would basically bring them down low enough for me to farm them down. And we're using a shield, okay. Getting to the Frenzy Plant and we are going to be able to win that CMP up against them here. And great, they use both shields here. So I think we're gonna absolutely do the same. 
All right, so we got to be on our toes here. Oh, they swap into the Sableye. Now we're going to go ahead and build up to the Frenzy Plant and then swap into our Wall Rain. Was that a smart move? Should I have went for the Frenzy Plant? We could have basically one-shot that thing. And they go for a return and basically one-shot us. Can we take out this Sableye here? Oh, no, we're not. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Umbreon to farm them down. With Venusaur, ready to go with Charge Move. But it does not have very much health, so we need to be careful. Umbreon is going to be taking a decent amount of damage from that return. Yikes. But we are loaded up on energy here. No shields on both ends. What's going to happen here, folks? And they have a... What was that? A Azumarill. We do a combo breaker. But they swap and they say, yeah, I know exactly what you're going to do. Bringing in the Metacham to absorb the Frenzy Plant. They only got off one bubble. So we're going to be able to beat them to another Frenzy Plant. And this is why Venusaur is just that disgusting. I mean, come on, let's go. Moving on to our next battle. What are we going to see here, folks? A Trevenant. Okay, so we could stay here. We've seen it before where I've stayed here. But here's the thing. We've got two Pokemon that can counter it. So we're going to go ahead and swap and bring in the Trevenant, in which we're going to have to shield this up. Now, I bring in the Wall Rain because, yeah, it's a pretty hard counter, but the Umbreon's a harder counter. And I wanted them to swap. Beautiful. They bring in their Zoomerol here, and we're looking good. If this is a play rough, it's going to be doing quite a bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough to take us out. Even in the shadow form, getting to the earthquake. Now, unfortunately, it looks like they may be able to bubble me down here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So that's a good amount of energy. One to one shield, bringing in the Venusaur. Now, Ice Beam will not KO me at this point, but I am going to be shielding it up here. <laughs> I really am trying to farm them down. That is one idiotic, greedy move. <laughs> I was so annoyed at myself when that happened. So we got two Frenzy Plants ready to go here. Let's see if we can get both of them off. They've got one shield left. Bring it into Galarian Stunfist going for that first Frenzy Plant. We got the Umbreon in the back full health and going for the next one. I would suspect we're going to get a shield here and then immediately retreat into the Umbreon. As to save the Venusaur for, I don't know, something that we could do later down the line. They bring into that Trivident. And I should have threw. I should have threw right there. Now we're just giving them that much more of an edge to do Earthquake and then maybe a rock side to take us out that much faster all right but they're pretty low so we should be looking okay we'll just see how this does play out though going for the first oh yeah and Vita Swords out of here earthquake's still not gonna be enough there it is okay now at this point i'm thinking nah if this is a rock slide ggs and it is a rock oh whoa okay but it's still close wow all right so we both had one hp here folks look at that does it get any closer than that? What a good game to my opponent. I mean, good games to everybody, but that was just, I mean, come on. One HP on both ends? <laughs> Incredible. All right, next battle, we're met with an Azumarill. I love to see it. I don't mind Azumarill. I like it, even though it's so tanky and all over the place and, you know, been around since Season 1. It's really not annoying to me like some other Pokemon are. All right, so we're going to see an Ice Beam. Great, because I know my Venusaur is going to be able to stomp it. That's why. That's why I enjoy seeing it here. All right, so it looks like our opponent wants to use both shields. I was waiting for a potential catch. Looks like we locked ourselves in here. Now, I am over tapping at this point. Now, I didn't lock myself because we screwed up big time. I got greedy again. It was a greedy day. Look at that. I go down with two frenzy plants. Are you freaking kidding me? Do you know how much damage that's going to be doing to every... Oh, they got a swan. Oh, okay. So we're essentially looking at a sweep right here so far that I could have had. Okay, lovely. We've screwed up massively, folks. Oh boy, yeah, I'm thinking to myself, if I don't win this, like, I mean, I I don't even know. Okay, so we swap into the wall rain, trying to farm up, and they got a Venusaur in the back. I'm like, okay, yeah, 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 yes, and good night, sleep tight, Venusaur, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> we take the win, even with basically two frenzy plants down the damn drain because I was greedy. Next battle meant with the Galarian Stunfisk. We've seen it before. Let's get it. All right, so going for the Frenzy. That was way too quick. So uh, we'll go ahead and let that go. Rock Slide, still doing a good amount. Now they're bringing in a Sableye. What we're going to do is just farm up a little bit more here. Go for the Frenzy plant ourselves. Do some damage or get a shield and then swap into our Umbreon. And we're looking good. Now, we're going to let this go because every time I shield it up, it's a foul play. Every time I let it go, it's a return. It's so freaking unbelievable. It's absolutely just crazy. It really, it, it blows my mind how the people just guess the coin flip or I just guessed the coin flip wrong, I should say, right? Anyways, 
we got the Metacham out here. Looks like it's uh, going to farm us down all the way to Funky Town, and that's not going to be too good here. All right, I'm trying to swap. Okay, guess I didn't. All right. <laughs> Venusaur has a frenzy plant ready to go. We do want to use the shield hitting us with a nice punch and we will be able to take out the Metacham here. All right, or not. They're going to shield it up, bring it in our wall rain. And now it's not looking good at all. Yeah, they went for an ice punch. Another ice punch. Okay, so they got my last shield. Can we take them out? Building up extra energy here. This has to KO or else we're not going to be looking good. All right, beautiful. And that Galarian Stun Fisk, and we get to the Earthquake, folks, and we're going to be able to KO this. I was saying, this better KO, this better KO, and it does. Let's get it. Thank you, Wall Ring, with that Earthquake coming in handy. Let's go. All right, so Deoxys, how this matchup works with the Venusaur is, eh, you know, they can build up to two Psycho Boosts. The first one is going to basically KO you. The second one won't do it. And then the counters, as they are lowering their attack, are just going to be doing less and less as they're also resisted. What they can do is go for the Thunderbolt, bait you, and then, you know, like that. So what we're going to do is go ahead and shield the first one and then catch the next one because I wanted to save the health. And it's as simple as that. So they're going to be swapping into their wall rain. And they are up a shield, but that's okay. This is still a decent matchup here. They're going to be able to spam us, but again, we're an Umbreon. We're going to be able to take these Icicle Spears. If they go for Earthquake, I mean... It's just going to be simply better to just go for the Icicle Spear spam over the Earthquake that's not getting s stabbed. So, all right, so they're down into the red. They're still holding on to two shields. People were not. Well, they're uh, the two shield challenge. Uh, I don't know if they're still trying to do it. I, I'm pretty sure they are, but it's like I can't just say that they're doing that because they're using they're saving the shields until the end because that's just something you do as well. All right, so they have a Trevenant and this is looking just absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and get that shield and then swap into our wall rain and start putting on the pressure. Probably did not like to see this here. Now if we get sloppy, we could technically lose this. So uh, it's not like oh clean win here. Uh, it is definitely gonna be a downhill win for sure. Uh, but we need to still kind of watch what we're doing here. So, oh wait, no. Because we survived this. No, never mind. Yeah, yeah, definitely we could still lose this. Sort of. They went for Shadow Ball, right? But we're going to go for the Frenzy Plan and take them out here. So, unless I was just, like, lagging hardcore there. All right, moving on to our next battle here, folks. What are we going to see with that Venusaur in the lead? A Swamper? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And they're swapping into Galarin Stumpfisk. Sounds good. What we're going to do is go ahead and, uh... I think we stay here. Oh, no, we're swapping into our Umbreon. Kind of wish I would have stayed there because we do have our wall rain, which can handle the Swamper quite nicely. And the Venusaur would be able to go up against this really good, that Frenzy plant. But I guess my logic here is just to kind of like start absorbing everything. They do go for a rock slide, which was amazing. Now they go for the earthquake. You're not getting a shield out of me. What I plan to do is just do a bunch of damage. I figured if I don't shield, I will lose this here. If they go for like, if they actually get to an earthquake, but I highly doubt that they're able to do that. And I wanted to farm them down with the Venusaur, but it looks like the Umbreon's actually just going to be able to take the win here for us because it's just that tanky and we didn't even have to use a shield. Bringing in Swampert to farm us down. That was a decent amount of farm, so we got to be careful. And they're retreating again, and this is not quite rock, paper, scissors. It was in the beginning and it was at the end. The middle was kind of just like neutral with the Umbreon versus the Galarian Stunfisk. But yeah, this is definitely a hard match for them here. And... It's not like, check out my skill, everybody. Look how good I am. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> I'm just, this is just go battling for you here, right? All right, so in comes the Swampert, and we've got one shield and Venusaur. I do believe I don't hit any of the bubbles here. <laughs> Anyways, if you did enjoy this Venusaur, Venusaur video and Venusaur, give it a like, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.